All right, we are asked to choose the graph of the function. And the function is f of x is equal to 2 times 3 to the x. And we have three choices here. So pause this video and see if you can determine which of these three graphs actually is the graph of f of x. All right, now let's work through this together. So whenever I have a function like this, which is an exponential function, because I'm taking some number and I'm multiplying it by some, num some other number to some power. So that tells me that I'm dealing with an exponential. So I like to think about two things. What happens when x equals zero? What is, what is the value of our function? Well, when you just look at this function, this would be two times three to the zero, which is equal to, three to the zero is one, it's equal to two. So one way to think about it, in the graph of y is equal to f of x, when x is equal to zero, y is equal to two. Or another way to think about it is, this value in an exponential function, sometimes called the initial value, if you we were thinking of the x-axis instead of the x-axis, you're thinking about the time axis or the t-axis. That's why it's sometimes called the initial value. But the y-intercept is going to be described by that when you have a function of this form. And you saw it right over there, f of zero, three to the zero is one, you're just left with the two. So which of these have a y-intercept of two? Well, here the y-intercept looks like one. Here the y-intercept looks like three. Here the y-intercept is two. So just through elimination, through that alone, we can feel pretty good that this third graph is probably the choice. But let's keep an analyzing it to feel even better about it and so that we have the skills for really any exponential function that we might run into. Well, the other thing to realize, this number, three, is often referred to as a common ratio. And that's because every time you increase x by one, you're gonna be taking three to a one higher power, or you're essentially gonna be multiplying by three again. So for example, f of one is going to be equal to two times three to the one. Two times three to the one, or two times three, which is equal to six. So from f of zero to f of one, you essentially had to multiply by three. And you keep multiplying by three, f of two, f of two, you're gonna multiply by three again. It's going to be two times three squared, which is equal to 18. And so once again, when I increased my x by one, I'm multiplying the value of my function by three. So let's just see which of these do this. This one, we said it has the wrong y-intercept, but as we go from x equals zero to x equals one, we are going from one to three. And then we are going from three till Looks like we're close, pretty close to nine. So it does look like this does have a common ratio of three, it just has a different y-intercept than the function we care about. This looks like the graph f of x is equal to just one times three to the x. Here, we're starting at three, and then when x equals one, it looks like we are doubling every time x increases by one. So this looks like the graph of y is equal to, I have my, what we could call our initial value, our y-intercept, three, and if we're doubling every time, we increase by one, three times two to the x. That's this graph here. As I said, this first graph looks like y is equal to one times three to the x. We are tripling every time, one times three to the x, or we could just say y is equal to three to the x. Now this one here better work, because we already picked it as our solution. So let's see if that's actually the case. So as we increase by one, we should multiply by three. So two times three is indeed six. And then when you increase by another one, we should go to 18, and that's kind of off the charts here, but it does seem reasonable to see that we are multiplying by three every time. And you could also go the other way. If you're going down by one, you should be dividing by three. So two divided by three, this does look pretty close to two thirds. So we should feel very good about our third choice.